Today's show is brought to you by Hightower Brewing Company. And the thing that I like about this uh, particular brewing company, they're located in, I believe it is uh, Southeast Ohio. We call it Raylan. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's about 15 minutes outside of Wheeling, West Virginia. So about 45 minutes to an hour outside of Pittsburgh. But with this particular brewing company, family owned, small businessman, local brewery, family friendly, pet friendly as well. Um, some of the things they offer within, um, within their brewery, live music on the weekends. They always have some type of deal going on food wise as well, man. But IPAs, lagers, the thing that I enjoy the most and Deke can attest to this as well. They have these dope seltzers as well, man. All the different fruity flavors. Um, I think it was a great one that I was enjoying. I think it was a blueberry one. That was the other one. It was like a sour blueberry as well, man. It's pretty dope. But um, the thing that I really enjoy, though, even more so with this is that this is from a person in the chat, man, a person from this podcast family, man, um, Greg Whiting, uh, yeah, reached out to me and we were at Steelers training camp and was like, yo, man, want to show some support, man, big fan of the show. And, you know, we we're able to go ahead and get this locked in, man. So we appreciate him, man. So anybody that is going over there, their website is in the uh, description box. You uh, purchase anything on that website, you'll get 15% off all of your purchases along with if you're in, you know, at the actual location, like I said, there's located, um, in um in Ohio, south southeastern Ohio is like right at the border, right by Wheeling, West Virginia. If you go in and you actually mention us while you're in there, you get fifteen percent off of your order as well, whether you're getting drinks or food or all inclusive, man. So it's dope and they got cool little merchandise. You see the little hat I got rocked out as well, man. So just wanted to shout deal. those guys out, man, over at High Tower Brewery Company, man. Definitely show them some love, man. Absolutely. High Tower Brewery supports us. Absolutely, man. Let's support them. Absolutely, man. They got this peanut butter porter, too. You better talk I'm about it. I'm not a big dark beer guy. You better talk about it. But it's pretty damn good. Yeah. They also, I mean, along with the seltzers, you're right. Mm -hmm. Seltzers are obviously really good. But they have some Pittsburgh theme cans. They do. The, they the, got a Maz. Uh -huh. It's a Bill Mazeroski beer. That's Absolutely. good as well, because they sent us a care pack. Yes. I was trying them, and I was like, this hits the spot. No, without a doubt. I know you're more the beer guy for me, man. I was enjoying the salsa. They had the tall kit. Was it 32, 32 ounce they sent this? Yes. <laughs> It makes it makes makes the watching experience way better. Just throw it out there. And you don't have to get as many refills either, Deke. I know, you know, when we got them little ones out there, sometimes we gotta worry about that. True. But no, shout out to them though as well though, man. So yeah, man, what was your uh your instant takeaways though from yesterday's performance, man, with this uh this team? Yeah, I kind of agree with most of the stuff you guys say generally, but um I agree with like Devin Bush, like I said in my comment that you know, I think he played better because they put him in better positions, but I'm still just like you. I'm kinda off the the Bush bandwagon where I don't, I don't care what happens really. If he's there, it's fine. If he's not, it's fine. I do. I watched Mark Robinson pretty closely and he was still flying around. He didn't make a ton of plays, but he was mm -hmm. flying around pretty well. So it was kind of fun to watch. And I, after your, uh, master modes breakdown, I was really paying attention to him a lot. So it was fun to watch because he does fly around. He does. He plays with reckless abandon, man. I love watching him on tape right now, man. Now, yeah, and I was pretty, um, yeah, I, pretty much broke down i did break it down but i was watching a lot of the offensive line so I was watching they mm -hmm. did hold their ground better and i was watching uh ramon foster when he was with dk yeah today. absolutely moan. and he was yeah and moan was saying that like they were getting a good like first step off they were doing better like mm -hmm. with driving people and i noticed that too like they were getting some get off they were getting some push yeah. where the game before they were getting blown off the line it was really hard to watch so yeah, they struggled that time with the whole thing and the penalties and putting themselves in yeah. bad position. But they did look better. Yeah. So there is some hope in that. And I thought last year when we were watching preseason, I kind of had hope for the Lions. They didn't look so bad in, in the preseason. Like, oh, they look they pretty did good. Not. They You're right. good. And then they were terrible. <laughs> so the fact that they look terrible, I'm kind of hoping that they look <laughs> terrible, but they're going to be good. Okay, okay. I like the reverse yeah, psychology right there. Yeah, for that, man. Hey, and I, I want to I say, just make a quick comment about what I was saying about the quarterbacks. I agree yeah. that it's a bad problem. It's a good problem. We don't worry. And I think it was a great analogy about um, uh, Jimmy G in, in San Fran that you yeah. made. But, yeah, I think that is kind of the problem. If Mitch goes out, I'm not saying we're going to win the Super Bowl, but if, what if they do? What if they go yeah. and they do really well? Then it's like, ah, now you got Kenny Pickett sitting again because you're not going to just trade away Mitch after that. I mean, Maybe we would, would hope not, but you don't know. But I mean, it's like, San, it's a Fran, tough position, man. San Fran was acting kind of weird lately. <laughs> I know, but if they're close, like you, we always say, and like yeah. Tomlin says, oh, if when it's close, close, you go with the, the lower guy. paid guy, right? Absolutely. And then if you if you think Kenny Pick is the future, and if they're that close, then you would yeah. go KP. But maybe they're not that close. Maybe they're just maybe. And you do see the youngness of, of KP when he's out there, because mm -hmm. uh, sometimes Mitch does look a little bit more mature in his decision making. 
like, I mean, that's not banging on KP. It's just like I think he does like look at one guy, kind of throws it. He'll go through his progressions, but a lot of times he is just different. But he has amazing accuracy. I, I like Kenny Pickett. I, I'm rooting for Kenny Pickett to start. Well, I just like this like touch on that ball as well, man. You saw that yesterday on display, man. Dots. The different ways, whether he's rifling it, putting air under it. Yeah, I definitely like that, man. You can see it on display, 100%. Well, thanks, All right, bro. fellas, I appreciate yeah. the job you do, man. Thank you very much. No, we Have appreciate a great day. It. Hey, salute you, baby, Hell always. Yeah, man. Shout out to the homie Michael Patrick from Kraken. All right, let me open the phone line back up. You saw everything, like, all the calls are coming in, like, once. It's right. craziness, craziness. But the phone lines are open, 412-346-6955. We got Team Enriquez. What Team Enriquez talking about? I don't know why we're about to read this. You Sam know in, like, Bush, LB5 five four. seconds, it's at LB4. Oh, jeez. Yeah. But I wanted to say this about Donald Cook. Oh, hold on, talking about Dobbs. All right, I'll get to it. All right, hold on. I get to it. Talk to me. Talk to me. Who are we on the hotline with? Hey, it's a bit of momentum. How about that? There he is. <laughs> there he is. What's the word? What's the word, baby? Hey, nothing much, man. I'm going to say this, man. Everybody showed out these three preseason games. You know, you know, we, we got to fix some bugs on the O-line and, you know, here and there, but everybody did fantastic, and uh, you know, I hope we get the right projection. Mm. I think everyone can agree with you on that one. Nah, one hundred percent. Now, how you feeling though about you know it being Mitch potentially going into Week One? Are you on the same hey, train like everybody else, or are you on the? It needs to be Kenny. Hey, I like my man Kenny, but you know, what I mean, like he got Mitch got the veteran resume and. He looked just as comfortable as anybody for real. Like he could, if if we got to go up in against a challenge in the Super Bowl with any of the any of, N- NFC team, mm-hmm. he could play against Aaron Rodgers. He could play against uh, you know Tom Brady. Okay, okay. I got full faith in Mitch. Well, Mitch is a thirty and ten guy. Uh, one of the people on this podcast has definitely said that and was adamant, and I support it. Yeah, I've been saying that. Yeah, yeah. Mitch Mason. You know, I, I think we're gonna be fine. Kenny, what you, we're gonna be fine. Kenny, Kenny got like he. Kenny looks like he could be a veteran right now. Like yeah. you could put him in any system if you wanted to. Um, but he's more like I said, just in case if Mitch has you know a, a few hiccups on offense, mm. you know, strip sack or something. You know, I don't want to wish nothing on that. Something crazy <laughs> happened, but. I feel comfortable. Mitch can lead us probably definitely to the Super Bowl, you know. Let's go. But, you know, I think Pickett can help in some way, shape, or form. I like it. I like it. Now, which story you got, though? That's the that's the real question because you always <laughs> tell us you got a story. I need to hear a good one. All right, man. Give me a good one. Come on. Give me a good okay. one. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> okay. All right. Here's the story. And Deke is going to judge this story now. Deke, Deke is going to judge your story, so you better be A game with it. <laughs> Hey, this is phenomenal. Deke's going to love this. Okay. So this is back in the day, 2010, 2011. Me, my brother, Michael Myers, my twin, y'all need to meet. And my boy, Kenny, uh, he's in front. He's living in Atlanta. He's going back to Florida. We worked out, you know, we're working out the YMCA. Whenever we're done, we do our little cardio, just, you know, shoot some hoops. Um, and it was crazy because I guess they, uh, Franco, um, Jerome Bettis were down there, you know, they, okay, I guess okay. they were just kind of visiting the Y and they made a donation, I think. Um, and these guys came up to us cause they, they liked how we were shooting the ball and they said, Hey, you guys want to play a little bit of, you know, to play three on two. I said, that's not going to be fair. Oh, so <laughs> it was me and my boy, Kenny versus, you know, Jerome and, and Franco. Okay. Of course we lost. You know, I'm guarding the bus. He's, you know, big dude. Um, Backing you down. You know, we're 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 going like. No, no. I thought you 11. had some height on you, official. You're not taller than Bussy. But now, nah, Bussy, cause Bussy ain't that tall. Hey, hey. <laughs> I'm, Buck can ball. <laughs> Franco, you know, Franco got a mean three pointer. I'm okay, not gonna lie. Right. <laughs> so we we split the first couple games. They, they won the first one. We won the second one. Okay. Then it was me and my brother Michael okay. versus them. And we beat them two one, so, or uh, you know eleven all, and uh, they they were just impressive of our athletic ability. They said, you know, good game, you know, 
Jerome was like, you don't have to beat up on us old timers, man, you know. Which is lucky we're able to walk. I like it, I like it. But it was a funny experience. And, and y'all got a dub out of that thing, so that makes it even better. Deke, how you rate the story? Thumbs up, thumbs down? That's up there. I okay. probably put it up there with the keys of one. Maybe Ooh, tied for first. Okay, shout out there. <laughs> I like it, baby. Hey, Enjoy I got some more, man. Like, you know, I got the AB story. I still got it, you know, from a while back. But okay, you know, okay. I'm waiting on pens and needles for that one. No doubt, no doubt. You know we're going to spend the block another time, baby, how we always do. But we always appreciate your support, man, just so you know that again. But nah, man, definitely appreciate you. Yeah. We'll hit you up next time. All right, baby? Hey. Yes, sir. Hey, big. make yep. sure you're down there at Rivers, man. I'm going I'm to keep on stock for you and most. There it <laughs> is. You guys ain't there. I appreciate it, bro. You guys have a problem. There All right, All right y'all. Have a good night. You All too. Right, peace. <laughs> Let's go. Shout out to Official Momentum. We got time for a well, We get one more in here, right? Yeah. 632. And I ain't going to run over too late, you know. That works for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm hmm, mm hmm. I like that one, though, man. Dibs getting buckets on him? That was a good one. That was a good one. It was good. That was a good one. <laughs> hello, hello. Who we on the hotline with today, baby? Yo, it's Kyle Maneer. Well, what What's it do? Bobby? What it do, Kyle? Absolutely. How we living over there, man? How what you- up? Man, what's the word? What's the word? So talk to me, man. How did you feel about that, you know, performance yesterday as a whole? We liking where we're, you know, where we're at going into the regular season? I love where we're at. And first of all, I'm glad that you guys got official momentum on. We needed them stories bad. Facts. We need, like a, <laughs> we need a story every single episode. Stories. Well, the thing I wanted to say, I forgot to, <laughs> official momentum, we, we needed a health update, too, because he was oh, talking about yeah, he went stuff to the dock on, like, the 24th, right? So, so drop yeah, it in the comments, right. official momentum. We, we yeah. hope you're doing well. Yeah, absolutely. Good call on that, Deke. All right, go ahead, though, bro. I mean, I think we got to trade Nathan. That's where I'm at. <laughs> Ooh. Which, what's the deal? It's got to go to Detroit. Okay, okay. What do you need Devin to feel Bush. good about? <laughs> Package Devin Bush. <laughs> Sit them both. Who, who are we getting back? I don't know. I'd, I'd like <laughs> to get like a third round pick. <laughs> See, you'll just get him out of here. Like a <laughs> yeah, what yeah, do you I feel good I'll about? I anything at this point. Oh, oh so he gave him a I seventh round really pick. You, you're it. saying addition from the subtraction? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just, I mean, I'd like to get a draft pick for him. Just anything at this point, honestly. <laughs> But I'm feeling really good about Mitch and Kenny, though. That's yeah. the thing. Like, we got Mitch and Kenny. We don't need Mason anymore. That's my thing. We, no, we got the two guys. That. Now, how do you feel about those two guys going into week one, though, when we're talking about that Kenny and, uh, and Mitch Trubisky dynamic? So, like, Kenny can go in at any point. Like, we know this, but Mitch can be a great quarterback for us. And I think that he'd be really good, like, you know, going – the whole season, like, if he gets hurt, throw Kenny in there. It'll be dramatic, but I think Mitch is going to be good. I think he could seriously lead us to the to the Super Bowl. Okay. I'm with him. I like it. I'm, you know, I'm a supporter. I'm feeling good. Let's get it. Let's get it now, nah, man. We definitely appreciate that. And, like I said, man, good to actually hear from you, Kyle. Man, we appreciate you because you're always tuning in, man. You're always one of the big supporters, so we definitely appreciate you as well, man.